Hello everybody, it's Anne from Anne's Stampin' Up! Welcome to another card making day here in Simcoe, Ontario, where I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Uh, if you live in Canada and you don't have your own demonstrator, you can shop with me. You can reach me at stampsandtea at gmail.com or my demonstrator website is stampsandtea.stampinup.net. So welcome everybody. Now, first of all, I need to um, do something while I remember it because I always forget this part. Um, if you watch my videos, uh, which go live at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time every Monday, um, if you watch my videos and you like them, would you please subscribe to my channel? Uh, my channel is called Stamps and Tea, um, and I always forget to ask that. So there it is, it's out of the way today. So let's get on to card making. Today we're going to use uh, some more new product, it's called the Changing Leaves Suite and it's stamps, dies and a hybrid embossing folder. Hybrid embossing folder means um, you can emboss with it, but you also get dies that overlay the embossing folder and you can cut out what you've just embossed if you want to. So let me turn the camera down and I'll show you what we're going to make today um, and all the parts you need to make the card. Now as you can see I've already got a piece of paper uh, over my, my mat that I work on um, and that's because I'm going to um, spread some colour today and I want to just to protect the top of the desk, you know. So, the Changing Leaves Suite. Uh, stamp dies and a hybrid embossing folder. This embossing folder is beautiful. It's got huge leaves and some smaller leaves. Really nice assortment of leaves. These are the leaves that are on the embossing folder. This is the stamp set, so you can stamp them and cut them out or you can stamp them and emboss them. The dies, you have one large die and you've got several smaller dies. But this large die will overlay the embossing folder, let me see, just about like that, there, and it will cut out those leaves after they are embossed, if that's what, if that's the, the, the look you're going for, okay? So that's, that's one way to use that die. Just get it back in here so I can close the case. Just about there. Okay, so let's get on to making the card. Um, we've got some basic supplies, of course. We've got um, envelope. We've got uh, some very vanilla cardstock, and this cardstock is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. We've got a piece of copper foil. Um, beautiful shade that copper foil and that is five and three eighths by four and one eighth. We've got a basic uh, mat for the front which is five and a quarter by four. Scrap of vanilla and a scrap of uh, copper foil. The vanilla is to stamp the sentiment, the copper foil is to back the sentiment. We've also got some really really fine um, metallic twine. It's copper coloured and I found it in the box probably had it for years, you know, and never used it, but it's going to work well on this card. And we've got another new product, which is called Metallic Enamel Effects. Now, this Metallic Enamel Effects, um, you get three uh, different colours in a package, and in one package you've got gold, silver and copper, in the other package you've got black, white and red. The red makes beautiful holly berries and, and things on your cards, so really, really nice. The, the, the red, white and black set is called pearlized and the gold, um, silver and copper is called enamel, metallic enamel effects. So let's think what we need to do first. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to spread some of this um, copper metallic enamel onto this piece of uh, very vanilla. I'm going to give it a good shake while I'm talking and I have a block here and I'm going to put a little bit of this metallic enamel on my block and I'm going to pick it up with a spatula, a little spatula, and I'm going to spread it across my card like that. All right. And then I need to give it a second or two to dry. Um, it doesn't need too long to dry, it really doesn't. I'm just going to go like that. Put the 
straight back on and I'm going to move this over. Now I want to try and cover this whole piece of card. This is just a little plastic spatula um, and I'm going to pick the colour up like that and just go right from the edge of the card. And it's, there, that's better, it's gone now. But I've got to get it right to the edges of the card and then I'm going to sort of swirl it around a little bit. Because I don't want to see lines in there. And then I'm just going to scrape the edges off a little bit because I don't want to see little pieces on the edge. Now I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm going to wipe that block and spatula. I'm going to wipe the block and the spatula right away because I don't want the enamel to dry on there. That's not clean enough. I'll clean this block off. And while I'm doing this you see the um, enamel itself is drying. Let me just see if I can tidy that one little, one little spot there. This is where I'm going to make a mess of it. There we go, that's okay. I just wanted to have the whole of the card front covered. Okay, I'm going to do that. And then while this is drying, I think we'll do the other stamping. Um, we're just going to try and pick this up. I need to stick to my paper here. We'll just set that there to dry and I'll get this right out of the way. But hopefully that just protected my desktop. Alright, so we're going to do some stamping now. Um, this is a very simple, plain card, I'm going to call it. So we're going to um, do the little extras. We're going to stamp the envelope, we're going to stamp the inside of the card, things like that. So first of all, I'm going to take from my stamp set, I have this huge, beautiful leaf stamp. And um, you can see I've used it because it's sort of stained pink. I used it with Blackberry Bliss and of course that's a red based colour so it stains your stamp a little bit. It doesn't affect the stamp at all how it works but it does leave a stain on it. So I'm going to bring this piece of paper back so that just in case I stamp off the envelope, um, it won't get on my foam mat or any. Now I need my foam mat because these are photopolymer stamps and they don't have any backing on them. So let me see, I'm going to use a lovely stamp pad, ink pad called Copper Clay. And because this is such a big stamp, I'm going to put the ink pad down onto the stamp rather than the other way around, which we usually do. Just clean that off the edge there, because I don't want that on my card. I'll leave that there in case I need it again. Okay, so this is just going to decorate the back of the envelope, and I'm just going to put it down just like that. There. So there's your envelope, the back of your envelope decorated. I'm going to turn it over carefully and I'm just going to stamp the edge of the stamp in the ink. Right there. And I'm going to just pop this on the corner of the envelope like that. Here. and that's the envelope decorated front and back and I'm going to do the same on the inside of the card. I'm just going to stamp this on the inside edge of the card. 
there, just like that. And I'll just clean that stamp off. Put it to one side. Now I've got a scrap of um, very vanilla that I'm going to use. Put that over there. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment on here. And my stamp, my sentiment is from the stamp set. And it just says, a little note to brighten your day. Just stamp that once. There. That's that. And I think that's all the stamping we need to do. So let me just close that up. Because it's a juicy one. We're going to take the piece that we uh, put the colour on and it's quite dry now. I'm happy with that. It's quite dry. So you see you've just got colour smeared all over there. So what we're going to do with that piece is we're going to put that piece into the embossing folder just like that. And when you close the lid, you can see how, when you close the lid, when you close the top, the folder, you can see how your design's going to look. So if that's not quite where you want your leaves, move your cardstock around. So I'm just going to straighten that up because I like that big leaf in the centre. Let me see. Pull it down a little bit, make sure it's straight. Do I like it there? We turn the cardstock that way when we're finished. I think we will. I think we will. I think we'll do that, yes. So, I want to make sure I've got, you know, lots of leaves everywhere and that looks good. So that's going over to the, the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine. But I'm also going to use one of the dies. This one here. To cut out my sentiment that we just stamped this little sentiment here. So I'm going to tape that down because I want it to um, I want it to be, I want it to stay right where I put it. I don't want that to slide. Sometimes it doesn't matter if it slips a little bit but I don't want it to slip. I'm now going over to the uh, stamp and cut and emboss machine and I'll be right back. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to take this. Let's see what we've got going on here. So there's my sentiment. Just going to pop it out to the back. And you see it has a nice little stitched border around. That's a nice touch. And let me just put the die right back inside the case so I don't lose it. This is the piece that I have embossed. It's just beautiful. Just lovely. I like that a lot. So let's pop all these extra pieces to one side. So we're ready to put this card together. We need to keep those two together. And this. And I just need something to glue on. So, first of all, we're going to take the card and just make sure that the ink is dry. Yep, it is. It's lovely. Alright. This piece is going on the card here like this as a mat. And it is 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth. Do I have a tape roller? Tape roller. Here it is. Okay. This has a, just about a sixteenth of an inch all the way around. It's not very big at all. Oops, get it straight. Two. That looks good. And I did put it on the right side. Then this piece 
with the embossing is going to go on top of here and again it's just got a tiny little sixteenth of an inch around. Now because it's embossed I'm going to have to put extra adhesive because you know sometimes the edge does not catch so I'm going to go right to the corners on this right down the sides just miss that corner I think have a look and make sure I've got no adhesive sticking out I miss that corner I don't like it when my corners lift. I like I like my whole piece of cardstock to be stuck down all the way around. Oh, I put it stuck across the middle. All right. Now I'm just checking to see if there's any adhesive sticking out around the edge. If there is, you can almost just run your thumb along it, and it takes it away. It folds it back on itself. Now let's see. This card opens this way and I want this leaf to go this way. So let's just move that up so you can see. And again I've got just about a sixteenth of an inch. Peel my fingers out. I'm just going to turn that over right now and give it a good press. There we go. How's that? Oh there, that's lovely. Isn't that pretty? That is just lovely. Alright, so what else do we want to do now? We want to take the sentiment and put it on this piece of um, copper foil. I'm just going to put a strip of adhesive down the middle. And this piece is about 7 eighths of an inch, I think. And I'm just going to put that here like this. I think it's going to, I think it's a bit wide. I'm going to trim it, just a hair. So we'll just lie that down there nice and straight. Bring in my cutter. Just going to take off just about the width of my channel is all. That's what I've taken off, that little strip there. Might need just a tad more. I just want this to be nicely boarded, you know, I don't want um, I don't want a huge copper border around. I'm trimming the edge. Now I think all I'm going to do with that is take my corner rounder. Let's see, have I got a corner rounder? I do. Yeah, that looks quite even, and I'm just going to round the corners on this. That's looking nice. There, so I've got three nice round corners and one not so nice round corner. Let's try it again better. Alright, let's get rid of all these little chibbles. Okay, this is going to go on the front of the card, just right in the middle, but first of all I'm going to wrap it with, not wrap it, but behind the sentiment, I'm going to put a little bit of this gold twine, which I'm just going to wrap around my fingers. Because it's fine, I'm going to go maybe ten times, just to give me enough so that you can see it. Stand that up before it rolls off the desk. And I'm just going to turn my sentiment over and put a couple of strips of adhesive on the back of the sentiment. Yeah. Take this lovely fine twine, try and get it off my fingers. Just scrunching it up together and I'm just gonna let me see lie it down like that. Do I want it to go that way? I don't no, I think I want it to go the other way. I want it to follow the leaves. There. 
So you see, it just gives it a little, little bit of fluff on the in on the front of the card. So let me just find some two or three dimensionals here, and I'm going to put the dimensional right in the middle, right over this uh, thread. And I'm just going to put this right about the middle of my card, right there like that. A couple of gems, these are earth tone gems and they're just lovely and the colour works really well. And I'm just going to pick up a couple of little ones and put one there and one there. So there it is. That is today's card. Quick and simple, kind of a new technique, smearing the colour on. And I think it just makes such a lovely little card. And there's the envelope. So there it is everybody, today's card, a little note to brighten your day made with the Changing Leaves suite of products. That's my own design, if you want to copy and share it please do so. Uh, just see where you saw the card made originally and if you sell your cards put the stamp on a bench or stamp on the back which just says all the supplies used or stamping up supplies. Thanks for watching everybody, have a great week, see you next week, bye!